Hey guys, so today we are talking about so many fun and kind of random things, but I have been carrying this bag a lot lately. You saw this in my purse collection video. I haven't done like a what's in my bag or anything with it. It is the Chanel little mini flap, and I wanted to show you guys what is in it, what fits in this little guy. That It's, I mean, it's pretty good. It's like a little brick. Mine feels like a little brick because I've got it packed, but it's not like, you know, stuffed like st straining by any means, but I want to show you what fits in it. And we went shopping a few days ago, and I picked up some things from Victoria's Secret, so I wanted to show you guys what's in there. It looks probably more exciting than it is, but I don't know. We'll see. I have like a bra and some like other sweats type things when <laughs> this is kind of a funny story when I was in Vegas several years ago I mean Brad went when we went to like Vegas all the time we had gone shopping at the Planet Hollywood Hotel before we went to this magic show there we've been to a couple different magic shows out there I don't remember what this guy's name was it was a pretty good show but oh my gosh my favorite show though ever just totally off subject and I really hope they still have it I don't know if they do if you ever go to Vegas, see La Rev. It's so good. It's like that water show where they like dive and they'll be like walking on this like platform. You know, like one minute they'll be like dancing around and the next minute someone will dive right where they were walking, like the floor open. It's just bizarre. It was so, that was like the most, that was a really good show. Okay, so anyways, so we were at this magic show and we had just been shopping at those like, what is that called? It's called like the mile shop, whatever that is at Planet Hollywood. And they were having like the big Victoria's Secret sale. And so I had a bag like this big and it was kind of an, well, this isn't a huge, this isn't as big. Anyways, so we were sitting kind of like on the second row, almost like in the, like right in the middle. We looked like we were a part of the show. This is really funny. Um, this is kind of like a story type thing too. It's kind of funny, but um, anyways, I I couldn't, I didn't have anywhere to put my bag because Brad was sitting to my right and then there was people on my left. So I had my bag like right, not like this, you know, because it's kind of obnoxious, but I had it kind of like in front of my legs and there was like a little ledge that so was kind of sticking up, but it was a huge obnoxious Victoria's Secret bag. You don't like magic shows, sometimes they'll like get people from the audience. Well, I swear everyone in the audience thought that that I was like the plant person. You know like how there's always, um, I always wear like a bandeau bra with this because the shirt gapes open. So it just looks better than like a, a real bra, you know, where you'd like, but maybe that wasn't a good idea because now I can just see that all the time. Anyways, um, so we, I swear people thought we were part of this show, like we were planted there because it was just so obnoxious. Um, like he kept coming to us. So first he came around and he was like, oh, he's like, are you guys newlyweds? And we were like, uh, no. And because we had been married for like several years at that time. And he was like joking with me about the, my Victoria's Secret bag. He was like, and he like picked it up and held it up. And apparently it was one of those that was like really obnoxious and huge. And so everybody was laughing. And he's like, hmm. And he's like, let's see what's in here. And I was like, oh my God. Cause literally it was like pink sweats. You know, like people think, oh wow, she's really been, you know, hitting Victoria's Secret. Like, ooh la la. But it was just a big bag of sweatpants and stuff. And he was like, Okay, and he, he like made fun of my, it was really funny. I was like, it's not as exciting as you think it is in there. Um, and then later in the show, he came back to me and he got my ring. This is not, well, it's the same ring. It's my, cause I got a new diamond, but it's, it, it's a different diamond than then. But he got my engagement ring. I forgot how he asked for it or what, but he came and he was like, gonna do something with it. So he took it on stage and he, like put it and it disappeared into this like water thing and like went down this drain and I was like, okay. Literally the guy kept me on ice for the entire show. I didn't know what had happened to my ring. Like I wasn't a part of the show so I didn't know. And obviously I knew they didn't like flush down the toilet but I was just like, what? So I had to sit there and like watch the entire show so nervous not knowing what had happened to my ring because it was just weird. And I didn't know who had taken it. I didn't know what they were doing with it. And then it was kind of like, have you ever seen Vegas Vacation where they're like Chevy Chase and his family is sitting there and, or no, they take him. Yeah, they take him and the whole show she's sitting there like, like looking around like, where is he? Like she can't even enjoy the show because she's like, where's my husband? And at the end he like pops up like on a tiger, you know, at the very end of the show, like on stage, he's like dressed like a tiger or something. I don't know. Anyways, so at the very end of the show, this mermaid like, woman or was she just like a mermaid? I don't know. It's a woman in this big water tank and they did like this drowning thing and all this and the whole time I don't know where my ring is and it's just like okay and they're not even acknowledging it and I'm like all right I guess it's gone you know and um but not really and then so so like an hour later this girl turns up in the thing and um she pops out and she's wearing my ring 
And I was like, oh, okay. And so he took it off of her and then gave it back to me. And I was like, okay. Which was cool because my ring was like a part of a show, but it was kind of like, it freaking put me on ice the whole time. Okay. Anyway, let's just, I forgot to put my earrings on. I had them laying out here because I, I like to put my jewelry on after I do my hair, you know? Uh, especially these because you can like, you know, they're so light. I swear you guys, if you have not picked these up, I know a lot of you guys, I hope a lot of you guys, they're really, really good. You need to get these. I am not a big earring person. I'm not like a big statement-y earring person or like hoops especially. I don't know. These are so good and they don't look like dated hoops, you know what I mean? Because they're kind of like on a little thing. They don't pull your ears. They just, you know, your ears don't look like they're sagging. I hate that with big earrings. But they're just so light and pretty and they just look good. But I didn't wear a, necla a necklace or anything with this. This is, again, one of those shirts that I'm obsessed with, like my gray one. And I got it in a different color. But yeah, I need to do something different with this because I don't like seeing that. Um, but that's okay like that. Anyways, these are the best tops. Oh, it fell over my chair. Um, I have it in gray too. Size up. My gray one is a small. Fits fine. Totally, totally great. You've seen that one on me. This is a medium. So size up. You may need, I don't know. I just, you know, because it's like fitted down here. And I think it looks, but you know what? Maybe that's why it's gaping out right here more than my, than my gray one. So I don't know. It's up to you. I don't think you can go wrong. Okay, so let me show you just really quick. I'm, I, I've literally got like three things. I got this bra. It is like the most serious bra I've ever experienced. It's like a serious, serious bra. Oh, and I got this little lip thing too I wanted to show you guys. I've been using it. It's been sitting in my kitchen, but I shoved it back in the bag so I could show you. Um, you know like when you check out at Victoria's Secret how they have like a few beauty products and they've, they've always been just like horribly compromised. They're like disgusting and everybody. Why is it like that? I mean I guess maybe Sephora is like that too because they have testers. So I guess that's why. Like they have no testers at Victoria's Secret. So it's like everything's just disgusting. So I saw this because I just thought the color looked pretty. It's the velvet matte. This is really good. This surprised me. Just spoiler alert. It's good. It's the velvet matte lip cream in adored. Um, it was $14. Don't you hate these stickers? I took it off, but then when I took it off, I realized the name wasn't anywhere on it, and I didn't want to forget it when I did the video. So maybe I'll just remember it. It's adored. I just, I hate that. Well, now it left a sticky. I'll just put it back, whatever. Okay, so this is actually really cool. Do you want me to put it on? I'm wearing the, um, the Jouer PCH. So good. I'm gonna wipe my lips off with the tissue paper because I'm gross. So. Okay. So I honestly though I did use one of the, I didn't use the, the compromised tester but I saw one that had already been compromised and I was like it's not going to hurt if I open it. So I opened it and looked at it and I saw it was really pretty. So then I found one that had like was perfectly sealed. This is really cool. So here's what it does. Like it looks like one of those matte uh liquid lipsticks. Doesn't have like a gross taste or anything, but it's different than anything I've tried and it's really, really surprising. It doesn't set and get dry. If you like the look of people that wear liquid lipsticks but you don't like that dry set feeling, a few that I really like, I love, love, love. Too Faced makes some good ones too, but I love the Kat Von D ones and I love the Bare Minerals ones. I need to get more of those. I say ones, but I only have one of those. What's happening? I parted my hair a little different. It's kind of... Um, look how much my hair has grown. It's insane. It's it's like set, but it's... But I could wipe it off if I wanted to, but it's not going to rub off. It feels... It's bizarre. It's not drying enough. Try this adored color. It's really cool. So, we're going to a wedding uh, in a few months. Next month. Wow, okay. And I'm wearing like a strapless dress. I don't know exactly if that's the dress I'm gonna wear, but I just, I was like, I need a new strapless bra because they either wear just like these like bandeau ones that are just kind of nothing, or I have some of those push up ones that are like those softer push up ones from Victoria's Secret, like the very sexy ones that just kind of give you a pretty shape, but you could like still feel your boobs through it. You know what I mean? Like it's not like three inches. This is the most intense bra I've ever had in my life. It's a. It's the it's a bombshell multi-way, um, you guys. It says it adds like it says it adds like two cup sizes. I don't know. This may be a little intense. This will like hold the dress up on its own if you had no boobs. But it is so. It's soft padding, but it's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of hard. Um, 
tried it on and I do like it. It gives you, it makes, it makes your boobs look crazy, okay? But I don't know if that's really what I'm going for. But I don't know. But, it, but this is, this is why I liked it. Out of all of the push-up bras that they had, it was very like solid feeling. It has like this rubber across the, or not rubber, but you know, it has that stuff. Oh, it does, it's not even, you know some of them have like that strip of rubber? It's the whole piece of material has that like not slippy feel to it. Wow. That's why it felt so good. But it's just really like thick and it felt like, because sometimes, that's my problem is that, I mean, I think that's probably a lot of people, like strapless bras just creep, you know, they just creep down. And then I got some real exciting sweats. This is kind of where that story came in. Um, I, I just, I always get sucked in. And I walked past and just saw these and they're the Victoria's, uh, Victoria's Sport. And I just thought they were cute and they're kind of tapered. Can't hold them up high enough for you to see. They're tapered at the bottom. And um, I got a small, I just thought they were really cute. And then I wasn't gonna get the top, but then I saw it and I was like, that's kind of really adorable. And see, it's like a sweatshirt. I got this one in a small too, but it's like open, you know? The sleeves or the, um, the shoulders are open, but it's like really far down. So it just kind of looks like a real slouchy, cool sweatshirt. Oh no. Oh, I thought my microphone wasn't on. I'm a mess y'all. Okay, let's talk about this. So, this little bag, I have been using it a lot um, lately. Really, I mean, I've, I don't know, I really like it. Like, I am a mom, I most of the time carry my big backpack, and it's not like a huge, like crazy, like hiking backpack or anything, it's cute. You know, like, I carry it to the grocery store, I, anywhere that we go, that backpack is on. And like, I can put a cup in there, I can put all kinds of stuff, but it's, and it kinda gets trashed. It's much different when you carry little bags. You just have to be very thoughtful, thoughtful about what you put in them because it just it just literally does not fit anything um, crazy. So, but but honestly though, it it holds all of your essentials. Um, and I've been carrying this a lot to dinner. Honestly, I haven't unpacked this in a while. I've been carrying this a lot of times when we do go places. Just with a, I mean, because she, I just don't need all that. I don't need as much stuff as we used to need. But I still like carrying my backpack. Um, this is not like the best mom bag, I would say, but I'm saying sometimes if I'm just lazy, I can just like grab it and it's no big deal. I love this little bag. I, now, I don't think I would go nuts and say, oh, I really want another Chanel bag, so I'm just going to buy another mini. I don't think I... It's nice to have this bag as a small bag, but it's not like, wow, that's my favorite size Chanel bag. If I was going to buy another one, I'd probably get like a medium-sized one. I have um, this size, I have the wallet on a chain, I have a boy, which is a little, which is larger than this, and then I have the reissue, which is big. This little bag makes me feel so happy. The color is so pretty. It's just a nice little bag to carry that's bigger than the wallet on a chain. You know what I mean? It's like a small bag that will actually hold stuff that you need. So inside, this is what I have. I have the, what is this? Is it the, um, it's the six. It's a six. I don't have the newest one, which is the seven. I'm so confused about the newest one. Someone said the other day, and I was like, yeah, I have a seven. I don't have a seven. Not on YouTube, but like a friend asked me, but I'm confused. I think mine's a 6S plus. Okay, so that goes in the back. I have one of those pop sockets. Now, let me just explain. If you had a phone that did not have this case on it, it it'd slip in just no problem. And sometimes I feel like taking the case off and just but every time I do that, toward the end of the life of my phone, like I always get in that groove where I'm like, I don't want to carry it with a case anymore. I always end up like wrecking it. So I've had this case and it's the new Lumi. It's the newer one. It's not the one that lights up from the back. They have one that lights up on the back too, but this one is so sleek and the front is not so hard plastic. It's kind of rubbery. And you know, it's one of those that does that. And I'll be honest with you, I never use that. So I need to kind of do that. I don't know why I don't. I just don't, I guess, take that many selfies like that. But I have huge hands, okay? Huge. Like, my hands are, and Brad has huge hands, and my hands are almost, like, I don't know if you can tell. That was always kind of funny. I would always hold my hands up to, like, men's hands or something, and they'd always be so much bigger. I have huge hands. Like, things look smaller on my hands. It's just crazy. But I find that the plus is good for me. I can hold it, but you see I get that, like, pinky strain because you're, like, trying to, with your, because I usually do things with one hand. I'm not, like, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe I would if I was just sitting. But, like, if I'm just holding it, I like to be able to hold it and still do stuff. This thing, my mom started using these, and she was like, you need one. I'm like, oh. um, But it kind of, like, you know, you can prop your phone with it. You can 
do different things. There's a little holder where you can do it and you can sit your phone in the car, which my mom just gave me one of those. Oh, it pulls out farther. My mom just gave me one of those. It's always, if I'm holding it, it's always out the farthest. But what's cool about this is you can literally hold it like this. You don't have to strain your pinky. And then you can reach so much farther. And then when you film and stuff too, it's supposed to hold it more. But I don't know, I just think it's comfortable. I put, mom puts hers more toward the middle. But I like mine more toward the bottom so I can hold it. I don't know. But anyways, I, I got that one not that long ago. And it's kind of fun. But yeah, that takes up space though. So I always put that toward the back. And then um, this purse has a little slip on the back. Now the only thing I would put in that would be like a little parking um, slip because anytime I ever do that like where someone has to park my car I do valet I always lose I don't know what it is I always have that panic moment where like oh gosh I can't find this so this is a good spot to just put things that you're gonna like need um, but it's something that's it's a very tight pocket I wouldn't put anything in it Brad was joking with me the other day and he had my keys and he's like I'm just gonna stick them back here and I was like no um, but so anyways on the inside it looks like that it has a little um, I'll show you when I get the whole thing out. But it has like a zipped pocket and then a slip pocket, which will be easier to see when the whole thing's out. But you could actually make this purse work so much better for you if you would just put your money and stuff and your cards back there. That's what is, is good to do. Because this is what takes up the most space and that is this, which is a very small little thing. It's my little um, Louis Vuitton key pouch. And the reason I keep it is that keep it in here is because it has my keys in it. And if you just have like one car key or something, you could throw it in there. But I like to keep both of mine in there for the both of the cars. And so I just feel like I need both. And then I have my house keys in the bottom. So I always like to have this. I guess I could just take them out and just throw them in. But um, I mean, whatever. I just, I like to have this. And then all of my uh, cards and stuff's in the back. And then if I ever have cash, sometimes I fold it up and stick it in with the keys. Uh, you could put it in the back little slip pocket of the actual purse itself. So it holds that. And then in the bottom is where I kind of keep, well this is my other big thing, in the bottom is where I kind of keep like little loose things. But I always have this. I love this so much you guys. Like this is the only thing I need really to touch up. And you know ideally I'd have like my little spray, but I keep one of those in the car, the little Evian sprays. But this is just so good. I know, like, just try it. You got, I know it seems kind of gimmicky, but, like, if you have anything settling or your makeup just looks... You can just do this, and it's just perfect. And then you just wash this. And then, like, if it gets gross, you can just flip to the next one, you know, and put the little thing in between, the little plastic thing in between. And then just wash it later. But I just... I really do love that. I love that little thing. And then I keep a few... Thunder. I keep a few little things that, um, you know, just kind of randoms. I have my little... I have two little hair ties. I love these so much um, from the main message. I just, I love, I love her little shop on Etsy. They, they come in literally every color. I'm doing something for um, the shower that I'm planning soon that involves these, so I just bought a ton of those from her. And then I have my Chanel lip balm, which I really love. I have this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is a good one to bring with you in the car because it is a little creamier, you know, so you could just, it's just easier to work with. And um, then, do I not have my other lip balm or my other lip gloss? I thought I had my sparkly lip gloss. <gasps> it's in the bathroom. I want to bring it with me, so let me go get that. These are so good. I love to carry these with me. I, and I always say that. They, I don't really do them when I first do my makeup, although I did the other day. That's why they were in there. But these are like my favorite thing just to carry with me to touch up. This is the Buxom April. And I'm putting it right over that. Victoria's Secret stuff, which normally I wouldn't. I'd just be putting this on over nothing. These are so sparkly and pretty. This is the shade April. I also like Celeste. I also like Kimberly. Kimberly and April, though, have been my favorite because they're a little more sparkly. But I don't really, oh, I don't really like them uh, over lip products, so I know I'm not going to like this in a minute because I feel like it kind of, not eats through it, but it kind of, it's so like once it sits on your lips for a minute, because beautiful at first, it just kind of makes everything thin and it makes it run a little. So this by itself is, this is just the best thing to carry with you. Um, when you put it on, it just like lights up your face. Um, and then I kind of breezed over that, but the little Travalo, this has my wood sage and sea salt in it. Is that how you pronounce it? Travalo? Travalo? I don't know. But yeah, you can refill it with anything. And it's just, oh, it's so good. When Brad bought me my wood sage and sea salt, that he bought this too and they refilled it with like another one. They didn't use mine that he bought, which was really nice. I think that's, I think if you buy it, they do that for you. 
I think he got mine at Bloomingdale's. I think that's where they did that. Um, yeah, and then let me show you what the, well, I put the lip gloss back, what the inside of the purse looks like. See, it's just kind of that, and, um, what's that? Oh, it's the little card. That's the little card that came with it. Usually I don't keep those in the bag. Where do you guys keep those things? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to put my purses back in the bags, and I don't like to keep, but I do, you know what? I need to put it in the box that it came in. That's, that's where I have my other ones. I don't know. I just never moved that one. So... That's the little bag, and it's just, it's just, it's just nice. It's just a little compact, sweet little bag. Why is everything in this video pink? I feel like I'm wearing pink, carrying a pink bag. The Victoria's Secret bag was pink. It's kind of funny, because I usually don't wear, like, a ton of pink, other than the little bag. I always get compliments on this bag, and it's just funny that, like, I have this hot pink bag, but I'm not huge on wearing, like, a ton of color, but I've always said I love color. And accessories and you know makes it fun so everything's back but you see how everything kind of has its little place I mean it does fit together like a little puzzle and then the bag isn't strained it's just kind of perfect so I love this little bag I think it's nice I would say if you're thinking about purchasing purse purchasing a Chanel bag they are expensive and I feel like you might think oh the mini like let me just buy that it's a little cheaper any Chanel bags expensive you you know I mean you're not you know what I'm saying if you're really wanting to buy one I would say and, and you don't have any that are a little larger, I would say, and you like this pink, hold out for one that's a little bigger. I would say if you're just gonna buy a Chanel bag, this may not be the best one to have if it's gonna be your only one. Get at least the medium. Um, it's a little bigger than this, but for a mini bag, this is actually pretty big, I feel. It's not super tiny. Like, I don't feel like I'm carrying a baby bag. You know how some of these bags are just so small and awkward, you know? But anyways, we're about to head out. I gotta go. To Target, I need to carry this with me in the car. Um, and put my hand cream back. We gotta go to Target, and um, I gotta return some stuff. The bakery to talk about um, some stuff for the shower that I'm doing. So I'm really excited, but um, oh, I put way too much of this on. Um, okay, guys, so <laughs> I'll let you go. Thanks for chatting with me today, and um, I don't know, I guess I felt like the little mini bag little spiel was longer than I thought it would be. That's why I kind of added some other stuff in. I didn't expect to tell that story, but um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and um, thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I really appreciate it. Anything that you have questions about, hopefully, um, hopefully I either answered or you wanting to know about anything specific, all of everything is linked below, and I'm going to be like paranoid about the shirt. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.